Hey ALA 2019, we are at booth 1256 with author Martha Simpson, author of Esther's Gregor. Thank you, Martha, for being with us here today. Hi! <laughs> I am super excited to be here because I am a children's librarian and I've been coming to ALAs for many, many years. I counted out this is my 50th ALA. Wow, congratulations! I'm um, head of children's services at the Scrapple Library, Scrapple, Connecticut. And I'm always one of the people standing in line for other people, so I am super thrilled to be able to have my first signing at ALA. We are so excited to have you in our booth. Can you tell us a little bit about your book? Okay, well, this is uh, Esther's Gregor, A Toy Shop Tale of Forum, and it is actually a companion to my first uh, book of Wizard Tales, Esther's Gre uh, excuse me, The Drain on the Wooden Spin, A Toy Shop Tale of Hanukkah, and it takes place in Eastern Europe maybe about 100 years or so ago. Um, in um, a toy shop and in this book um, there's a peddler that comes by in the yeah. beginning of both books to sell toys to the toy shop so that he can sell it to the public and in this book he brings a bunch of gruggers. Now gruggers are spinners um, so for the Jewish holiday Purim when they have this Purim service they have these um, gruggers noisemakers and they spin them around and make all sorts of noise when they say the name of Haman who is the villain in the uh, story of Esther. Um, so in, for the purpose of this book, these are old-fashioned gruggers. They're all wooden, they're hand-painted, they're hand-carved. And in this book, um, a boy comes in and wants to buy a special gregor that has the image of Esther for his little sister, who's named Esther. And he doesn't have enough money, so he puts it aside. And meanwhile, another boy wants to come in and buy it, and it ends up being a bullying story. So I think it's very appropriate for today's times. Um, and Esther may be small, but she is smart and she is strong, just like her namesake in the Bible. And she knows how to um, shame the bully so he doesn't bother her or anybody else anymore. So I think it's a very empowering story. Um, and it's a story for today, but it also reflects the lessons from the Bible. Um, and it's not an overtly religious story as far as um, as far as talking about, you know, this is the story of Esther, but you get the idea from the uh, inference. So um, I think it appeals to kids of all ages, and I, I'm very proud of this book. Um, the illustrations for both books were made, made by uh, Durga Yael Bernard, who has done a lot of um, wonderful books, and um, I'm very proud to publish and listen to them. I think they did an excellent job. They have gorgeous pictures. I mean, look at those beautiful pictures. And I am just super excited about this. Awesome. Well, mazel tov on your new book, oh, and we <laughs> are excited. So if you want to come get your copy of Esther's Gregor, come down to booth 1256. Thank you, Martha. Thank you.